What happens now? How is he received in Great Britain moving forward? Yes, pleasure absolutely to be back with you again, Rob, and lovely to be with Niall, of course. A few things here. One thing that's rather ghastly that we did not see while we were covering this, because it happened a couple of hours afterwards, was when Dior immediately came out. And Dior had an Instagram post and a Twitter post about they had clad Prince Harry. Well, Alexander McQueen, the British designer, who dressed both the Princess of Wales, Catherine, formerly Kate Middleton, and her daughter, Princess Charlotte, they didn't say anything. They were radio silent. Why? They were discreet. It is customary for the British royals to support British designers. And here was a French designer, Dior, coming out and declaring that. One wonders, when everybody was speculating why on earth did Prince Harry appear for only 26 hours, did he pay for his own outfit or was he there to market merchandise? That's a rather ghastly question. And I think rather sadly, given all he squandered and all he could have done for the Commonwealth with his wife, he wasn't on the balcony. He wasn't there for any photographs. Yeah. So he will be less than a footnote in history. That's rather sad. And, and we said this Saturday morning, Hillary, he just, he looks sad. I, I think yes. that was the word. He looks sad. And you know what? That's a long 12-hour flight flying commercial to fly back from London to California. I think he Correct. had a lot to think about and a lot to reflect on during that flight. Hillary, less than a minute. Harry and Meghan, who we deliberately did not talk much about on Saturday morning, they left the UK and the royal family to get away from the media. Then Harry wrote a book called Spare and did a six-part Netflix documentary series. Not something that you would think one would do if they wanted to avoid media attention. How does Harry, and I guess to a lesser extent Meghan, fit into the future of the royal family? Is there a place for them moving forward down the road? Well, you're absolutely correct, and they also hired three PR firms, and he claimed that he was concerned about the security of his family and then went ahead and talked about his kill count, which the Taliban has actually come out and even said the Afghans are not chess pieces. To answer your question quickly and briefly, I say limited at best, but remember, the royal family took the high road. They offered an invitation to lunch at Buckingham Palace for Prince Harry, right. which he declined. They have taken the high road, and I think they've come out smelling like the English rose that they are. Yeah, and, and you can't help but think about what the late Princess Diana would have thought about the event Saturday and Harry's role there. She yeah. was a monarchist, Rob. Yeah. She wanted him to be a wingman to Prince William, his role as king. All right. Hillary, Niall, great having you on this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.